Preface of One Thousand Things Worth Knowing. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Larry Wilson. One Thousand Things Worth Knowing by Nathaniel C. Fowler, Jr. Preface. This book contains more than one thousand facts, many of which are not generally known to the average person, but all of them are of interest to humankind, and a knowledge of many of them is essential. The author has used the simplest English, and has avoided as far as possible all technical or scientific terms. He has endeavored not to fall into the common error of making his explanations harder to understand than the subjects treated. This book is not intended for the scientist, nor does it claim to be exhaustive. In the space of a few hundred pages, the writer has presented the thousand or more things which are really worth knowing, and which are usually described at unprofitable length and without that simplicity of expression so essential to clearness. In the Preface Section 1 of 1,000 Things Worth Knowing. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Logan Lorenz. 1,000 Things Worth Knowing by Nathaniel C. Fowler, Jr. Chapter 1. Acetylene Gas. Acetylene gas is used largely for the search lamps on automobiles. It is composed of carbon and hydrogen. Adventists, a religious sect whose members believe that the second coming of Christ is near at hand. There are over 100,000 communicants and ministers. Aeolian Harp. This instrument was invented in the 17th century and was named after Aeolus, the god of the winds. It is of the simplest construction, and its music is produced by the vibration of the strings automatically moved by the winds. In construction, it is a rectangular box of thin boards of a few inches in depth and width, and of sufficient length to extend across a window so that the breeze may pass through it. The strings are stretched lengthwise across the top of the box, and may be tuned by increasing or decreasing their tension. Age About 50% of the persons living in the United States are under 20 years of age, 45% from 20 to 60 years, and 5% over 60 years the average age being about 25 years. This average seems low and is due largely to infant mortality. If the percentage was taken excluding those under 15 years of age, it would be very much higher. Agricultural Implement Industry Capital invested, about $260 million, and an annual output of about $150 million. About 60,000 people are employed. Alaska Alaska is the only territory of the United States, the Hawaiian Islands, Puerto Rico, and the Philippines being known as possessions. It has an area of over 590,000 square miles and a population of about 65,000. Its climate is semipolar. Algebra The discoverer or the first user of algebra is unknown. It is said that Diophantus wrote it in 170 AD, and he may have been its inventor. It was brought into Spain in about 900. Its signs are said to have been used first in 1544, but algebra did not come into common use until 1590. Descartes applied algebra to geometry in 1637. Almanacs The word almanac is of Saxon origin, and probably the first almanac was published in 1470, and the first in English in 1673. Amazons an ancient body of warlike women, ruled by a queen, who allowed no man to live with them. They were opposed to marriage and resolved to form a female state. They burned off their right breasts that they might better use the bow and javelin. This custom is the origin of the name Amazons, or breastless ones. Apostles' Creed Considered by most biblical students as the earliest form of Christian creed. It is attributed directly to the apostles. It is doubtless the formula of belief that existed in all the early Latin churches. It was made a part of public worship of the Christian church at Antioch and introduced into the Roman Catholic Church in the 11th century and subsequently into the Church of England. April Fool's Day 
Its origin is unknown, but it is supposed to follow an ancient pageant custom of playing tricks on the first day of April. Arbor Day A few years ago, the United States and Canada officially set apart one day in the year for the planting of trees, shrubs, etc. It was the intention to have this day observed chiefly by the children of the public schools. Its observance has resulted in the planting of millions of trees. Arithmetic While the inventor or discoverer of arithmetic is unknown, it is said that it was brought from Egypt into Greece in 600 BC. Euclid is the author of the oldest treatise upon arithmetic and wrote it about 300 BC. The arithmetic of decimals began in 1482, and the first arithmetic in English was printed in 1522. Artesian wells. An artesian well is one made by boring perpendicularly into the earth. The oldest known well of this kind was sunk in Europe in 1126. Probably the most famous one is near Paris, which was bored in 1833, bringing water from a depth of 1,792 feet. From this well, 516 gallons of water flow per minute. In Missouri, there is one well 2,197 feet deep and another nearly 4,000 feet deep. The invention of the artesian well is undoubtedly due to the Chinese. Artificial Ice The artificial manufacture of ice is of somewhat recent origin, and there are over 2,000 ice-making plants in the United States, exclusive of those used by breweries, packers, and others for the making of their own ice. Artificial ice-making showed an increase of 81% during the last few years, End of section 1. Section 2 of A Thousand Things Worth Knowing. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Pamela Nagami. A Thousand Things Worth Knowing by Nathaniel C. Fowler, Jr. Atlantic Cable. The original, or rather the first permanent cable, was laid in July 1866, connecting Ireland with Newfoundland. But an earlier cable was laid between the foregoing points, which was lost in construction. This lost cable, however, was recovered and completed. In 1868, a cable was laid from France to Duxbury, Massachusetts. In 1873, the fourth Atlantic cable connected Ireland and Trinity Bay, Newfoundland. Several cables have been subsequently laid and are maintained. Considerable difficulty was experienced in obtaining the right kind and a sufficient current of electricity which would carry the message several thousand miles under water and not pass from the cable into the water itself. Two keys are used, which when depressed, transmit respectively positive and negative currents coming from the connected batteries the current does not pass directly into the cable but enters what is known as a condenser and from there reaches the wire itself this increases the force of the current and overcomes interfering earth currents originally the messages were received by a reflecting galvanometer upon the magnet of this instrument was placed a small curved mirror and in front of it was a lighted lamp behind a frame with a vertical slit the light from the lamp passed through the slit and fell upon the surface of the mirror the flashes of light moving with the movements of the suspended needle indicated the message sent because of the delicacy of the instrument it was difficult to translate the telegraphic code the system has been entirely superseded by the use of the siphon galvanometer this needle is affected by the currents and moves in response to the opening and closing of the telegraphic key it consists of a small hollow needle which swings between two fixed magnets a very soluble aniline ink is allowed to flow through the tube the mouth of this tube is suspended a very small fraction above a strip or roll of white paper which moves automatically the vibration or movements of the needle allow the ink to flow in irregular lines or curves upon the moving paper. These irregularities or curves indicate letters which are easily read by the receiving operator. Cable dispatches 
now are recorded when formerly they had to be read as they were seen with the impossibility of retaining an automatic record of them professor morse the inventor of telegraphy may be considered the inventor of the cable although he had little to do with its mechanical construction to mr cyrus w field must be given much of the credit for its accomplishment was largely due to his foresight and energy the cable consists of several copper wires embedded in gutta percha or similar substance which is one of the best non-conductors of electricity the cable with its several wires and coverings or insulation has a circumference equal to that of the old-fashioned three-cent piece several wires are embedded into the insulation so as to ensure better connection the cable is laid by steamers built for the purpose they travel over a charted route and unscientifically speaking throw the cable overboard of course no cable could be constructed of a length that would reach across the ocean new pieces are therefore spliced in as conditions require if the sea is too rough for the laying of the cable the end is buoyed and picked up when the weather changes the cable lies upon the bottom of the ocean and as the bottom of the ocean is as irregular as the surface of the earth with its mountains plateaus and valleys there is always danger of the cable being broken or injured although there is of course absolute quiet at the bottom of the ocean then many feet or even a mile of cable may be stretched between two projecting points and the strain may part it in time the process of locating a break or injury is very interesting the cable fails to work the operator stationed at either end discharges electricity into the cable and although it doesn't reach the other side he can by a delicate instrument locate approximately the place of parting or where injury has occurred the repair steamer sails for the place with grappling irons it brings the cable to the surface but as the location of the break cannot be determined accurately the electrician on board must determine which way to sail to locate the place of the trouble he attaches the cable to a battery on board and opens connection with the land if the break for example is between him and europe the european operator will not respond but he will receive a reply from the american operator he then directs the vessel's course toward europe the cable when it is taken on board is run on pulley wheels one in the bow and one in the stern of the vessel and the vessel sails slowly under the cable as the vessel is two or three hundred feet long several hundred feet of cable will be exposed the cable is watched carefully and the break or injury will be easily located when it is the operator connects the cable with the batteries and then telegraphs in the direction opposite to that from which he received a reply if his message goes through the receiving operator will respond if a reply comes he knows he has located the break if no reply is received there must be other breaks in the same direction the break is repaired and the steamer sails on until it finds another break or injury i have attempted to explain this in the simplest words it is obvious that a scientific explanation would be unintelligible to the average reader. End of section two. Section three of One Thousand Things Worth Knowing. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Joshua Loke. One Thousand Things Worth Knowing by Nathaniel C. Fowler, Jr. Atmosphere. While accurate figures are impossible, and while astronomers somewhat differ, it is generally conceded that the Earth's atmosphere extends from the surface to an altitude of about 40 miles. It is theoretically or scientifically accepted that the density of the atmosphere at only a few miles from the surface of the Earth is not sufficient to support life. Aurora Borealis Until electricity was discovered, the origin of the Aurora Borealis was unknown and was supposed to be of a supernatural origin. Even today, its exact composition or source is more or less of a mystery, but it is generally supposed that it is caused by the recomposition of positive and negative electricity. 
it exists only in the region of the poles, although its light is seen to a moderate degree over the greater part of the Earth. Automobiles All vehicles used on the common highway and propelled by any mechanical power, whether it be by steam, gasoline, or electricity, are known as automobiles or motor cars, and are frequently called autos for short. The invention of the automobile is very recent, although steam-propelled carriages were in existence more than 50 years ago. Exceeding a million are in daily use in the United States. Bank of England Established in the city of London in 1694, although a private institution, it is under government control and constitutes the treasury of the empire, England having no national treasury like that of the United States. It is managed by a governor, deputy governor, and 24 directors. Bastille The name given to a French prison, built between 1370 and 1383, originally as a fortress, but later used as a regular prison. It was destroyed by a mob in 1789. It was the seat of the terrible cruelties practiced in the early days. Beirut Festival A musical festival held at the National Theatre in Beirut, Bavaria, which was built for the performance of the works of Wagner. The foundation stone of the building was laid in 1872, and Wagner himself opened the theatre in 1876 with a grand production of the Nibelungen Trilogy. Bible Between the 8th and 10th centuries, parts of the Bible were translated into Anglo-Saxon, and in 1290 appeared an English version of the Psalms. In 1380, the New Testament was finished, and a little later the Old Testament was fully translated. The so-called King James Bible was published in 1610 and remained in common use until the present revisions were made. Bible Statistics the Old Testament contains 39 books, 929 chapters, 33,214 verses, 593,493 words, and 2,728,100 letters. The New Testament contains 27 books, 260 chapters, 7,959 verses, 181,253 words and 838,380 letters. In total, there are 66 books, 1,189 chapters, 41,173 verses, 774,746 words, and 3,566,480 letters. The shortest chapter is Psalm 117. Ezra 721 contains all the letters of the alphabet except J. Esther 8, 9 is the longest verse. John 11:35 is the shortest verse. There is no word of more than six syllables in the Bible. Bimetallism a monetary system in which gold and silver are put on the same plane as regards mintage and legal tender. Birthstones January, garnet. February, amethyst. March, bloodstone or jasper. April, diamond or sapphire. May, emerald or carnelian. June, agate or chalcedony. July, ruby or onyx. August, sardonyx. September, chrysolite. October, opal or beryl. November, topaz. December, turquoise. End of section three. Section 4 of 1,000 Things Worth Knowing This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Joshua Loke 
One Thousand Things Worth Knowing by Nathaniel C. Fowler, Jr. Blind In the United States, there are about 65,000 blind persons, a little more than half of whom are totally blind. Of this number, about 37,000 are males, and about 28,000 females. Blood Heat The normal temperature of man is about 98.5 degrees Fahrenheit. This temperature is maintained with a variation of not more than 2 degrees, whether one lives on the equator or in the Arctic regions. Any great deviation is likely to prove fatal. Animals have about the same temperature as man, while the blood of birds is from 8 to 10 degrees warmer. Reptiles, fishes, and all invertebrates maintain temperatures about the same as that of their environment. Bluegrass Region an undulating plateau in the north-central part of Kentucky, covering about 10,000 square miles, is known as the Bluegrass Region. The underlying rock, for 150 or more feet, is blue limestone, very rich in phosphate of lime. This rock crumbles on exposure to the air and enriches the soil. Tobacco and hemp have two crops a year and grow to a great height. Meadowgrass grows continuously. The Bluegrass region for many years has been the center of the blooded stock of America. Boxers A Chinese secret society supposed to be semi-religious and semi-patriotic. The Boxers originally believed that they were immune from death or physical injury, and that they could, with safety, attack any foreign foe. Brain As the action of the brain has not, as yet, been seen by man, no one at the present day, knows just what it is, beyond its merely physiological or mechanical substance. It is said that the brain of a normal man contains over 300 million cells, and that about 3,000 are destroyed every minute. If this is the case, then a new brain appears once in 60 days. The normal brain has a volume of from 58 to 105 cubic inches. The brain of the Anglo-Saxon and German, and any other civilized nations, averages the larger number, while the Negro brain occupies a space of about 96 cubic inches, and some Australian natives have brains of only about 58 cubic inches. The male brain is about 10% heavier or larger than that of the female. The most intelligent animals have only about 16 ounces of brains. The size of the brain, if it is not below normal, does not appear to influence the intellectuality of its possessor. Men with small brains may have larger mind capacity than some of those possessing brains weighing several ounces more. It would appear, then, that the size of the brain, unless it be unusually small, has little to do with its quality. Bread It is said that the Chinese were the first bread makers and that they made bread from wheat and rice as early as 1998 BC. Probably the first bread made from yeast was baked in England in about 1634. Aerated bread, which rises from carbolic acid gas injected into the dough, became somewhat common in 1857, but practically all bread, bakery made or homemade, owes its leavening to yeast or baking powder. Breakfast Foods Breakfast foods, in the main, are composed of either corn, wheat, or oat products, a few being made of barley, starch, and tapioca. They are sold under trade names, and most of them need no cooking by the consumer, as they were properly cooked at the mill. Usually, they are made of only one grain, and to some of them is added a small quantity of salt. Most of them are pure products and are unadulterated, but few, if any of them, are any better than the grain sold in bulk, which can be purchased for about four cents per pound. Brook Farm A famous socialistic community, originated by George Ripley and others in 1841 and located near West Roxbury, Massachusetts. The estate consisted of 200 acres, and a company of educated men and women settled here to work out an experiment, in which each person performed a certain share of necessary manual labor. The enterprise was abandoned as an utter failure in 1846. Among the persons connected with the movement were George Ripley, 
Charles A. Dana, Ralph Waldo Emerson, Nathaniel Hawthorne, George William Curtis, Theodore Parker, Margaret Fuller, and Dr. Channing. End of section 4. Section 5 of 1,000 Things Worth Knowing. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Joshua Loke. 1,000 Things Worth Knowing by Nathaniel C. Fowler, Jr. Calculating Interest To find the interest on any sum, at any rate per cent, and for any length of time. First, multiply the principal by the rate per cent expressed in hundredths. This will give the interest for one year. Second, find the number of days remaining by consulting the calendar, and multiply the principal by as many hundredths as there are days. And for three per cent, divide the product by 120. For four per cent, divide by 90. For five per cent, divide by 72. For 6% divide by 60. For 7% divide by 52. For 8% divide by 45. For 9% divide by 40. For 10% divide by 36. And for 12% divide by 30. This will give the interest for the days. Third, add the two items of interest and the sum will be the entire interest. To find the number of days from any day of any one month to the same day of any other month, please consult the following table. Starting from the month of January, there are 365 days till the next January, 31 days till February, 59 days till March, 90 days till April, 120 days till May, 151 days till June, 181 days till July, 212 days till August, 243 days till September, 273 days till October, 304 days till November, and 334 days till December. Starting from the month of February, there are 334 days till January, 365 till February, 28 till March, 59 till April, 89 till May, 120 till June, 150 till July, 181 till August, 212 till September, 242 to October, 273 till November, and 303 till December. Starting from the month of March, there are 306 days till January, 337 days to February, 365 days till March. 31 days till April, 61 days till May, 92 days till June, 122 days till July, 153 days till August, 184 days till September, 214 days till October, 245 days till November, and 275 days till December. Starting from the month of April, there are 275 days till January, 306 days till February, 334 days till March, 365 till April, 30 till May, 61 till June, 91 till July, 122 till August. 153 till September, 183 till October, 214 till November, 
and 244 till December. Starting from the month of May, there are 243 days till January, 276 till February, 304 till March, 335 till April, 365 till May, 31 till June, 61 till July, 92 till August, 123 till September, 153 till October, 184 till November, and 214 till December. Starting from the month of June, there are 214 days till January, 245 days till February, 273 days till March, 304 days till April, 334 days till May, 365 days till June, 30 days till July, 61 days till August, 92 days till September, 122 days till October, 153 days till November, and 183 days till December. Starting from the month of July, there are 184 days till January, 215 days till February, 243 till March, 274 till April, 304 till May, 335 till June, 365 till July, 31 till August, 62 till September, 92 till October, 123 till November, and 153 till December. Starting from the month of August, there are 153 days till January, 184 days till February, 212 days till March, 243 days till April, 273 days till May, 304 days till June, 334 days till July, 365 days till August, 31 days till September, 61 days till October, 92 days till November, and 122 days till December. Starting from September, there are 122 days till January, 153 days till February, 181 days till March, 212 days till April, 242 days till May, 273 days till June, 303 days till July, 334 days till August, 365 days till September, 30 days till October, 61 days till November, and 91 days till December. Starting from the month of October, there are 92 days till January, 123 till February, 151 till March, 182 till April, 212 till May, 243 till June, 273 till July, 304 till August, 335 till September, 365 till October, 31 till November, and 61 till December. Starting from the month of November, there are 61 days till January, 92 days till February, 120 days till March, 151 days till April, 181 days till May, 212 days till June, 
two hundred and forty-two days till July, two hundred and seventy-three days till August, three hundred and four days till September, three hundred and thirty-four days till October, three hundred and sixty-five days till November, and thirty days till December. Starting from the month of December, there are thirty-one days till January, sixty-two days till February, ninety days till March, one hundred and twenty-one days till April, one hundred and fifty-one days till May, one hundred and eighty-two days till June, two hundred and twelve days till July, two hundred and forty-three days till August. Two hundred and seventy-four days till September, three hundred and four days till October, three hundred and thirty-five days till November, and three hundred and sixty-five days till December. Nota bene. In leap year, if the last day of February comes between, add one day to the number in the table. End of section five. Section six of One Thousand Things Worth Knowing. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Joshua Loke. One Thousand Things Worth Knowing by Nathaniel C. Fowler, Jr. Canals. The Suez Canal is 90 miles long with a depth of 35 feet and is 108 feet wide at the bottom. It cost $100 million. The Manchester Canal between Manchester and Liverpool is 35 and a half miles long with a depth of 28 feet and 120 feet wide at the bottom. It cost $85 million. The canal connecting the Baltic and North Seas is 61 miles long, 29 and a half feet deep, and has a bottom width of 72 feet. It cost $400 million. The Panama Canal, which is not yet complete, will be about 50 miles in length, with a width of 300 feet, and a minimum depth of 41 feet. The United States government paid $50 million to the new French Canal Company and the Republic of Panama for property rights and franchises, and the total cost of the canal will not be far from $375 million. At the present time, nearly 50,000 men are at work upon the canal, and the official opening is announced for January 1, 1915. When completed, it will be the largest work of its class in the world, although not the longest canal. Capacity of cisterns and wells. For each 10 inches in depth, a cistern 2 feet in diameter will hold 19 gallons. 2.5 feet, 30 gallons. 3 feet, 44 gallons. 3.5 feet, 60 gallons. 4 feet, 78 gallons. 4.5 feet, 97 gallons. 5 feet, 122 gallons. Five and a half feet, one hundred and forty eight gallons, six feet, one hundred and seventy six gallons, six and a half feet, two hundred and seven gallons, seven feet, two hundred and forty gallons, seven and a half feet, two hundred and seventy five gallons, eight feet, three hundred and thirteen gallons, eight and a half feet, three hundred and fifty three gallons, nine feet, three hundred and ninety six gallons. Nine and a half feet, four hundred and sixty one gallons, ten feet, four hundred and eighty nine gallons, eleven feet, five hundred and ninety two gallons, twelve feet, seven hundred and five gallons, thirteen feet, eight hundred and twenty seven gallons, fourteen feet, nine hundred and fifty nine gallons, fifteen feet, one thousand one hundred and one gallons, twenty feet, 1,958 gallons, 25 feet, 3,059 gallons, 
Capital at Washington. The capital is situated in latitude 38 degrees, 53 minutes, 20.4 seconds north, and longitude 77 degrees, 0 minutes, 35.7 seconds west from Greenwich. It fronts east and stands on a plateau, 88 feet above the level of the Potomac. The entire length of the building, from north to south, is 751 feet, 4 inches, and its greatest dimension, from east to west, 350 feet. The area covered by the building is 153,112 square feet. The dome of the original central building was constructed of wood, covered with copper. This was replaced in 1856 by the present structure of cast iron. The entire weight of iron used is 8,909,200 pounds. The dome is crowned by a bronze statue of freedom, which is 19 feet 6 inches high and weighs 14,985 pounds. The height of the dome above the baseline of the east front is 287 feet 5 inches. The height from the top of the balustrade of the building is 217 feet 11 inches. The greatest diameter at the base is 135 feet 5 inches. The rotunda is 97 feet 6 inches in diameter, and its height from the floor to the top of the canopy is 217 feet 3 inches. The Senate chamber is 113 feet 3 inches in length, 83 feet 3 inches in width, and 36 feet in height. The galleries will accommodate 1,000 persons. The Representatives Hall is 139 feet in length, by 93 feet in width, and 36 feet in height. The room now occupied by the Supreme Court was, until 1859, the Senate Chamber. Previous to that time, the court occupied the room immediately beneath, now used as a law library. Celluloid Celluloid, from which many toilet articles and imitations of ivory are made, is composed from the cellulose found in cotton cloth or raw cotton. It is treated with a solution of nitric acid which forms it into a pulp very much like paper pulp. It is then washed with water, which removes most of the acid. It is partially hardened and camphor gum mixed with it when it is rolled into sheets and thoroughly dried. In order to manipulate it, it is softened by steam and then hardened by drying. Celluloid is very inflammable. Wearers of celluloid combs and other ornaments should not expose themselves to fire. End of section 6 Section 7 of 1,000 Things Worth Knowing This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Joshua Loke 1,000 Things Worth Knowing by Nathaniel C. Fowler, Jr. Certified Checks A personal check becomes certified when across it is written certified with the name of the bank and the signature of the cashier or other official. The bank then becomes liable for the amount of the check. If the maker of a check has his check certified, he is jointly responsible with the bank for its payment. But if the receiver of the check has it certified, the maker of the check is released from all responsibility. Chemical Composition of Man Huxley's table on the chemical composition of man of the average weight of 154 pounds was for years the standard, but it has recently been superseded by a new one compiled by the French Academy of Sciences. The table is appended. There are 111 pounds 8 ounces of oxygen, 21 pounds 6 ounces of hydrogen, 21 pounds of carbon, 3 pounds 10 ounces of nitrogen, 1 pound 2 ounces and 88 grains of phosphorus, 2 pounds of calcium, 219 grains of sulfur, 
47 grains of chlorine, 116 grains of sodium or salt, 100 grains of iron, 290 grains of potassium, 12 grains of magnesium, and 2 grains of silica. Chess Chess is one of the oldest and probably the most scientific game known. Its origin is mysterious. It was mentioned in Oriental literature about 2000 BC. It was originally played in India, Persia, and Arabia, and subsequently was known in Spain and Western Europe. It is said that it was invented in order to teach the art of war. Christmas a festival commemorating the birth of Christ, said to have been observed as early as 98. Some of the early Christians celebrated the event in May, others in April and in June. In the 5th century, it was generally observed on the 25th of December. Circulation of the Blood Although even the savage had seen and spilled blood, the circulation of the blood and the part that it plays in the human machine was not discovered until about 1616 by the English physiologist William Harvey. Climate and Temperature Climactic conditions are dependent upon heat, moisture, and altitude. The greatest heat is at the equator and diminishes as one approaches either pole, but a place of high altitude near the equator may be cooler than another farther removed from it and occupying a shut-in or low position. It is warm at times, even near the poles. The climate is also affected by the winds, and very greatly by the ocean, and especially by ocean currents. Take England, for example. It is considerably further north than Boston or New York City, and yet its climate is much warmer or milder due to its proximity to the Gulf Stream. Land near the ocean is likely to be cooler in summer on account of its prevailing winds, and warmer in winter because a large body of water reduces the cold. It is well known that towns on the seashore do not suffer from extreme cold as much as do those in the same latitude further inland. The altitude has much to do with climate. Even in the warmest countries, where the heat is intense, the tops of high mountains are clothed through with snow. Forests, by their shade, reduce the temperature. End of section 7。section 8 of 1000 things worth knowing。this is a librivox recording。all librivox recordings are in the public domain。for more information or to volunteer。Please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Joshua Loke. One Thousand Things Worth Knowing by Nathaniel C. Fowler, Jr. Coal Industry In the United States, the coal fields have an area of exceeding 160,000 square miles, but it is supposed that there are at least 310,000 square miles which contain coal. The estimated quantity of the available coal is exceeding 3 trillion tons. Cocoa Industry The world produces about 530 million pounds of cocoa annually. The United States consumes about 130 million pounds. Germany, about 112 million. France, about 60 million. England, about 56 million the total consumption being about 507 million pounds. Coffee industry. Brazil, about 1,300 million. Central America, about 201 million. Venezuela, about 97 million. Other South American countries, about 78 million. Haiti and Santo Domingo, about 84 million. Mexico, about 43 million, Puerto Rico, about 34 million, Jamaica, about 10 million, a total of nearly 2 billion pounds annually. The United States consumes about 881 million pounds a year. 
Coin. Money, in the form of metallic coins, probably superseded all other legal tenders. The first record of the coinage of silver was in 869 BC, and it was made in Rome as early as 269 BC, and in Great Britain 25 years before the Christian era. Gold was first coined in England in 1087. Copper money was introduced by James I of England in 1620. The United States Mint began to coin money in 1793. Colosseum. The building of the Colosseum at Rome began in A.D. 80. It covers about five acres of ground and has a seating capacity for nearly 90,000 persons. It was built in the form of an oval with a diameter varying from 312 to 515 feet the height being from 160 to 180 feet. In its arena, the gladiators fought among themselves and with wild beasts. At its dedication by Titus, 5,000 wild beasts were killed, and the celebration lasted for nearly a hundred days. Occasionally, the arena was flooded with water, and sea fights took place. Comets Comets are supposed to be made up of an innumerable number of meteors, with millions of miles of burning gas. They have regular orbits, but they have not been fully established and are more or less eccentric. They are not supposed to shine by their own light, but to obtain it by reflection. The orbit of comets was discovered by Hadley in 1682, who predicted their return. Sometimes the head and tail part and remain so. Their number is unknown, but there is supposed to be thousands of them. The comet formerly was looked upon as a source of danger, and it was supposed that the near approach of one of them would destroy the earth or any other celestial body. Recent research, however, indicates that comets have not sufficient density to cause damage, although they might affect the atmosphere. The principal thing to be feared, however, if there is any danger, is that the envelopment of the Earth by the comet's gas would destroy life. But most astronomers have agreed that the atmosphere of the Earth would be sufficient protection. So far as is known, no comet has ever caused any injury, and as they have existed from time immemorial, there would appear to be no reason for alarm. End of section 8《Section 9 of One Thousand Things Worth Knowing》This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Betty B. — One Thousand Things Worth Knowing by Nathaniel C. Fowler, Jr. Common Measurements Diameter of a circle times 3.1416 equals circumference radius of a circle times six point two eight three one eight five equals circumference square of the radius of a circle times three point one four one six equals area square of the diameter of a circle times point seven eight five four equals area square of the circumference of a circle times point oh seven nine five eight equals area half the circumference of a circle times half its diameter equals area circumference of a circle times point one five nine one five five equals radius square root of the area of a circle times point five six four one nine equals radius circumference of a circle times three one eight three one equals diameter square root of the area of a circle times one point one two eight three nine equals diameter diameter of a circle times point eight six equals side of inscribed equilateral triangle diameter of a circle times point seven o seven one equals side of an inscribed square circumference of a circle times point two two six equals side of an inscribed square circumference of a circle times point two eight two equals side of square of equal area diameter of a circle times point eight eight six two equals side of a square of equal area base of a triangle times one-half the altitude 
equals area the product of both diameters times point seven eight five four equals area of an ellipse surface of a sphere times one sixth of its diameter equals solidity circumference of a sphere times its diameter equals surface square of the circumference of a sphere times point three one eight three equals surface square root of the surface of a sphere times one point seven seven two four five four equals circumference square of one of its sides times six equals surface of a cube area of the base of a square round or triangular pyramid or of a cone times one-third of its altitude equals solidity area of square times point seven eight five four equals area of largest circle within it area of circle times point six two five equals area of largest square within it spheres square of circumference times point three one eight three equals surface of sphere square of diameter times three point one four one six equals surface of sphere square root of surface times point five six four two equals diameter of sphere cube of diameter times point five two three six equals solidity of sphere cube of circumference times point oh one six nine equals solidity of sphere cube root of solidity times one point two four oh seven equals diameter of sphere diameter of sphere times point five seven seven four equals side of inscribed cube square root of solidity times point two eight two one equals radius square root of solidity times one point seven seven two five equals circumference cube of radius times four point one eight 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 equals solidity cube root of solidity times point six two o four equals radius cube root of solidity times three point eight nine seven eight equals circumference communism and socialism communism is a doctrine which would abolish individual rights including the ownership of property it began in england and france but has never made any great progress socialism is allied to communism but is a milder form it does not suggest the abolition of individual rights but to make all rights subordinate to the good of the people an acceptable definition of either has never been presented and members of both parties differ materially socialism however has grown very rapidly and the socialistic party in the united states is frequently successful some of our ablest scholars and investigators believe that socialism will become prevalent and that in it is vested many of the solutions to our economic problems end of section nine section ten of one thousand things worth knowing this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox dot org recording by greg giordano one thousand things worth knowing by nathaniel c fowler jr chapter ten comparative population of the united states increase over preceding census census year for nineteen ten population ninety one million nine hundred and seventy two thousand two hundred and sixty six number increase fifteen million nine hundred and seventy seven thousand six hundred and ninety one increase over preceding census twenty one point zero per cent adjusted preceding census of increase twenty one point zero per cent census year nineteen hundred population seventy five million nine hundred and ninety four thousand five hundred and seventy five number increase thirteen million forty six thousand eight hundred and sixty one preceding census increase twenty point seven per cent adjusted preceding census increase twenty point seven per cent census year eighteen ninety population 
sixty-two million nine hundred and forty-seven thousand seven hundred and fourteen. Number increase, twelve million seven hundred ninety-one thousand nine hundred and thirty-one. Increase over preceding census, twenty-five point five percent. Adjusted preceding census increase, twenty-four point nine percent. Census year, eighteen eighty. Population, fifty million one hundred fifty-five thousand seven hundred and eighty-three. Number increase, eleven million five hundred ninety-seven thousand four hundred and twelve. Increase over preceding census, thirty point one percent. Adjusted preceding census increase, twenty-six point zero percent. Census year, eighteen seventy. Population, thirty-eight million five hundred fifty-eight thousand three hundred seventy-one. Number increase, seven million one hundred fifteen thousand and fifty. Increase over preceding census, twenty-two point six percent. Adjusted preceding census increase, twenty-six point six percent. Census year, eighteen sixty. Population. Thirty one million four hundred and forty three thousand three hundred and twenty one. Number increase eight million two hundred and fifty one thousand four hundred and forty five. Percent increase thirty five point six per cent. Adjusted preceding census increase thirty five point six per cent. Census year eighteen fifty. Population twenty three million. One hundred ninety one thousand eight hundred seventy six. Number increase six million one hundred twenty two thousand four hundred twenty three. Increase over preceding census thirty five point nine per cent. Adjusted preceding census increase thirty five point nine per cent. Census year eighteen forty. Population seventeen million sixty nine thousand. 453. Number increase, 4,203,433. Increase over preceding census, 32.7%. Adjusted preceding census increase, 32.7%. Census year, 1830. Population, 12,866,000. And twenty number increase three million two hundred twenty seven thousand five hundred sixty seven increase over preceding census thirty three point five per cent adjusted preceding census increase thirty three point five per cent census year eighteen twenty population nine million six hundred thirty eight thousand four hundred fifty three Number increase two million three hundred ninety eight thousand five hundred seventy two. Increase over preceding census thirty three point one per cent. Adjusted preceding census increase thirty three point one per cent. Census year eighteen ten. Population seven million two hundred thirty nine thousand eight hundred eighty one. Number increase. One million nine hundred thirty one thousand three hundred ninety eight increase over preceding census thirty six point four per cent adjusted preceding census increase thirty six point four per cent census year eighteen hundred population five million three hundred eight thousand four hundred eighty three number increase one million three hundred seventy nine thousand two hundred sixty nine increase over preceding census thirty five point one per cent census year seventeen ninety population three million nine hundred twenty nine thousand two hundred fourteen there being no further data to compare to end of comparative population of the united states Comparative Population 
of the large cities and towns of the United States, as of 1910. Class of places, number of places, and population. Continental United States. Unknown number of places. Total population, 91,972,200. All incorporated places. Number of places, 13,985. Population, 49,307,414. Places of 1 million inhabitants or more. 3. Population, 8,501,174. Places of 500,000 to 1 million inhabitants. Total number of places, 5. Population, 3,010,667. Places of 250,000 to 500,000 inhabitants. Number of places, 11. Total population, 3,949,000. 839. Places of 100,000 to 250,000 inhabitants. Number of places, 31. Population, 4,840,458. Places of 50,000 to 100,000 inhabitants. Total number of places, 59. Population, 4,178,000. 915. Places of 25,000 to 50,000 inhabitants. 117. Total number of places. 117. Population. 3,971,624. Places of 10,000 to 25,000 inhabitants. Total number of places. 346. Population. 5,215,812. Places of 5,000 to 10,000 inhabitants. Total number of places. 551. Population. 3,829,740. Places of 2,500 to 5,000 inhabitants. Total number of places, 1,041. Population, 3,642,610. Places of less than 250,000 inhabitants. Total number of places, 11,821. Population, 8,166,567. End of Comparative Population of the Large Cities and Towns of the United States As of 1910 The Compass The compass was unknown to civilization until the close of the 12th century, but there appears to be good authority for the statement that it was used in China centuries before the European nations were aware of its power. The compass consists of a piece of steel, usually in the form of a needle, which has been magnetized so as to maintain its magnetism indefinitely. It is set on a piece of cork or rests lightly on a pivot, and if allowed to move freely, it will point toward a north magnetic pole, the opposite end of the needle indicating the south magnetic pole. The needle does not point to the geographical pole, but to the north magnetic pole which is some degree south of the former. The earth is a magnet, and the magnetic needle is influenced by the currents of the earth, and therefore points to the north under the influence of these currents. No compass is absolutely correct, for the needle does not always point to the north with a full degree of accuracy. It is subject to variations which are caused by outside influences, like the presence of metallic substances. Without the compass, navigation would be unsafe, if not impossible, for no mariner, without it, 
would know the direction he is sailing in at night or during a cloudy day corsets the corset or something similar to what is now worn appeared in france and germany in the thirteenth century and a hundred years later was introduced into england the cloth was interwoven with rods of whalebone or steel but when the price of whalebone increased other stiffening rods were used end of section ten recording by greg giordano newport ritchie florida section eleven of one thousand things worth knowing this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox dot org recording by betty b one thousand things worth knowing by nathaniel c fowler jr cosmetics vaseline cold cream and glycerin are perfectly safe to use although the latter irritates some skins most of the cosmetics upon the market including many of those advertised to produce a good complexion are practically worthless and undoubtedly quite a number of them contain poisonous drugs and chemicals the writer does not recall a cosmetic which contains any virtue not found in cold cream vaseline or glycerin most cosmetics are made of cold cream or vaseline highly perfumed and are claimed to possess special virtues the only way to obtain a good complexion is to keep the skin in a healthy state by constant bathing and by massage either with the hands or with a towel with a moderate use of cold cream or other similar article nothing has ever been discovered which will restore the bloom of youth and all articles advertised for that purpose are practically worthless if they contain any bloom it is in the form of a dye or color no one should use any concoction or salve other than cold cream vaseline glycerin or an almond preparation without the advice of a physician cost of the british royal family the annuities paid by the british people to the royal family for its support are as follows the king and queen two million three hundred fifty thousand dollars queen alexandra three hundred fifty thousand dollars princess christian thirty thousand dollars princess louise duchess of argyle thirty thousand dollars duke of connaught one hundred twenty five thousand dollars duchess of edinburgh thirty thousand dollars princess beatrice thirty thousand dollars duchess of albany thirty thousand dollars duchess of mecklenburg strelitz fifteen thousand dollars trustees for king edward the seventh's daughters ninety thousand dollars total two million seven hundred ninety thousand dollars the king also receives the revenues of the duchy of lancaster during recent years these have amounted to about three hundred fifty thousand dollars per annum the prince of wales has an income also from the revenues of the duchy of cornwall amounting to about five hundred thousand dollars per annum when the royal children marry dowries are usually provided for them the last of the children of the late queen victoria to marry princess beatrice received one hundred fifty thousand dollars as dowry from the british people by parliamentary grant cotton gin one of the three or four greatest inventions of civilization it was invented by eli whitney in seventeen ninety three the machine separates the cotton wool from the seed and automatically cleans it with great rapidity previously the work was done by hand a most tedious process cotton industry from sixteen million to seventeen million bales of cotton are sold each year each bale weighing about four hundred ninety pounds cradle of american liberty a name given to faneuil hall in boston massachusetts from the fact that many meetings were held here during revolutionary days for the purpose of declaring the citizens rights and protesting against the interference of england credit mobilier this consisted of a stock company organized in eighteen sixty three for the purpose of constructing public works including principally the building of the union pacific railroad without going into the merits of the case it may be said that this organization received much criticism as it developed that many of the members of congress were supposed to be connected with it it is said that some of these members were corrupt 
and used this organization to feather their nest it constituted perhaps the greatest national scandal placing under suspicion as it did many of our so-called statesmen crusades the name of wars carried on at intervals from ten ninety five to twelve seventy by the christian nations of europe against the saracens for the purpose of gaining possession of the holy land there were eight crusades and the soldiers who engaged in them wore a cross on their breast or right shoulder as a sign of their religious faith hence the name crusades from the latin crux cross crust of the earth very little is known of the interior of the earth except that it is supposed to be a molten mass the aggregate thickness of the strata or rock layers as far as known is less than thirty miles end of section eleven section twelve of one thousand things worth knowing this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox dot org recording by betty b one thousand things worth knowing by nathaniel c fowler jr daguerreotypes early photography owes its origin to the discovery of the daguerreotype a plate made of thin copper or other metal was covered with a silver preparation this was placed directly in the camera and there was no method of transfer as there is from the ordinary photographic plate from which innumerable prints may be taken it went out of common use with the invention of the photographic plates and paper and with the discovery of instantaneous photography the taking of the daguerreotype required long exposure which was decidedly objectionable and the result was coarse and tame after taking the daguerreotype passed through acid solutions for the development and permanency of the picture damage by lightning statistics vary but considerably more than six thousand buildings are injured by lightning every year causing a loss of about three million dollars about seven hundred people are killed every year and more than eight hundred are injured it is said that lightning kills between four thousand and five thousand domestic animals a year valued at about one hundred thirty thousand dollars deaf and dumb about ninety thousand of the inhabitants of the united states are deaf and dumb more than half of that number being born with this affliction of this number about forty seven thousand are males and somewhat over forty three thousand females deeds a deed is an instrument in writing conveying real estate with or without buildings upon it from one party to another all deeds should be registered printed forms to be filled out are for sale at stationers it is better to employ a good lawyer or conveyancer dictionaries probably the first dictionary was produced in china and was said to contain forty thousand characters in the fifteenth and sixteenth centuries encyclopedias were published the first authoritative dictionary was in latin and was translated into eight languages about the year fifteen hundred chambers encyclopedia was published in seventeen twenty eight and johnson's famous english dictionary in seventeen fifty five webster's american dictionary was first issued in eighteen twenty eight digestibility of foods apples sweet raw one hour thirty minutes asparagus boiled one hour thirty minutes beans boiled two hours thirty minutes lean beef roasted three hours fresh salted beef boiled two hours forty five minutes old salted beef boiled six hours beets boiled three hours forty five minutes bread fresh three hours thirty minutes cabbage pickled four hours thirty minutes celery boiled one hour thirty minutes chicken boiled two hours chicken roasted four hours cheese old three hours thirty minutes duck roasted two hours eggs raw two hours eggs soft boiled three hours eggs hard boiled four hours fish boiled one hour thirty minutes fish fried three hours game most kinds roasted four hours fifteen minutes liver calves fried two hours thirty minutes lamb grilled two hours thirty minutes milk raw three hours fifteen minutes milk boiled two hours mutton boiled and broiled three hours 
nuts five hours oysters raw two hours fifty five minutes oysters stewed three hours thirty minutes onions stewed three hours thirty minutes pork fat roasted five hours fifteen minutes pork salt boiled three hours fifteen minutes potatoes fried or baked two hours thirty minutes rice boiled one hour sausage grilled three hours thirty minutes tripe boiled one hour trout boiled one hour thirty minutes turkey roasted two hours thirty minutes veal roast or grilled five hours end of section twelve section thirteen of one thousand things worth knowing this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox dot org recording by betty b one thousand things worth knowing by nathaniel c fowler jr distances between cities in the united states not airline distances but traveling distances from atlanta to new york eight hundred seventy six miles atlanta to chicago seven hundred thirty three miles atlanta to philadelphia seven hundred eighty five miles atlanta to st louis six hundred eleven miles baltimore to new york one hundred eighty eight miles baltimore to chicago eight hundred two miles baltimore to philadelphia ninety seven miles baltimore to st louis nine hundred thirty four miles boston to new york two hundred seventeen miles boston to chicago one thousand thirty four miles boston to philadelphia three hundred twenty one miles boston to st louis one thousand two hundred thirty miles buffalo to new york four hundred forty two miles buffalo to chicago five hundred twenty five miles buffalo to philadelphia four hundred sixteen miles buffalo to st louis seven hundred thirty one miles chicago to new york nine hundred twelve miles chicago to philadelphia eight hundred twenty one miles chicago to st louis two hundred eighty four miles cincinnati to new york seven hundred fifty seven miles cincinnati to chicago two hundred ninety eight miles cincinnati to philadelphia six hundred sixty six miles cincinnati to st louis three hundred forty one miles cleveland to new york five hundred eighty four miles cleveland to chicago three hundred fifty seven miles cleveland to philadelphia four hundred ninety three miles cleveland to st louis five hundred forty eight miles denver to new york one thousand nine hundred thirty four miles denver to chicago one thousand twenty two miles denver to philadelphia one thousand eight hundred forty three miles denver to st louis nine hundred sixteen miles detroit to new york six hundred ninety three miles detroit to chicago two hundred seventy two miles detroit to philadelphia six hundred sixty nine miles detroit to st louis four hundred eighty eight miles galveston to new york one thousand seven hundred ninety two miles galveston to chicago one thousand one hundred forty four miles galveston to philadelphia one thousand six hundred ninety one miles galveston to st louis eight hundred sixty miles indianapolis to new york eight hundred twenty five miles indianapolis to chicago one hundred eighty three miles indianapolis to philadelphia seven hundred thirty four miles indianapolis to st louis two hundred forty miles jacksonville florida to new york nine hundred eighty three miles jacksonville to chicago one thousand ninety seven miles jacksonville to philadelphia eight hundred ninety two miles jacksonville to st louis nine hundred seventy five miles kansas city to new york one thousand three hundred forty two miles kansas city to chicago four hundred fifty eight miles kansas city to philadelphia one thousand two hundred fifty one miles kansas city to st louis two hundred seventy seven miles los angeles to new york three thousand one hundred forty nine miles los angeles to chicago two thousand two hundred sixty five miles los angeles to philadelphia three thousand fifty eight miles los angeles to st louis two thousand eighty four miles louisville to new york eight hundred seventy one miles louisville to chicago three hundred four miles louisville to philadelphia seven hundred eighty miles louisville to st louis two hundred seventy four miles memphis to new york one thousand one hundred fifty seven miles memphis to chicago five hundred twenty seven miles memphis to philadelphia 
one thousand sixty six miles memphis to st louis three hundred eleven miles milwaukee to new york nine hundred ninety seven miles milwaukee to chicago eighty five miles milwaukee to philadelphia nine hundred six miles milwaukee to st louis three hundred sixty nine miles minneapolis to new york one thousand three hundred thirty two miles minneapolis to chicago four hundred twenty miles minneapolis to philadelphia one thousand two hundred forty one miles minneapolis to st louis five hundred eighty six miles montreal to new york three hundred eighty six miles montreal to chicago eight hundred forty one miles montreal to philadelphia four hundred seventy seven miles montreal to st louis one thousand fifty one miles new orleans to new york one thousand three hundred seventy two miles new orleans to chicago nine hundred twelve miles new orleans to philadelphia one thousand two hundred eighty one miles new orleans to st louis six hundred ninety nine miles new york to chicago nine hundred twelve miles new york to philadelphia ninety one miles new york to st louis one thousand sixty five miles omaha to new york one thousand four hundred five miles omaha to chicago four hundred ninety three miles omaha to philadelphia one thousand three hundred fourteen miles omaha to st louis four hundred thirteen miles philadelphia to new york ninety one miles philadelphia to chicago eight hundred twenty one miles philadelphia to st louis nine hundred seventy four miles pittsburgh to new york four hundred forty four miles pittsburgh to chicago four hundred sixty eight miles pittsburgh to philadelphia three hundred fifty three miles pittsburgh to st louis six hundred twenty one miles portland oregon to new york three thousand two hundred four miles portland to chicago two thousand two hundred ninety two miles portland to philadelphia three thousand one hundred thirteen miles portland to st louis two thousand two hundred twelve miles quebec to new york five hundred thirty miles quebec to chicago one thousand thirteen miles quebec to philadelphia six hundred twenty one miles quebec to st louis one thousand three hundred forty three miles st louis to new york one thousand sixty five miles st louis to chicago two hundred eighty four miles st louis to philadelphia nine hundred seventy four miles san francisco to new york three thousand one hundred eighty six miles san francisco to chicago two thousand two hundred seventy four miles san francisco to philadelphia three thousand ninety five miles san francisco to st louis two thousand one hundred ninety four miles seattle to new york three thousand one hundred fifty one miles seattle to chicago two thousand two hundred thirty nine miles seattle to philadelphia three thousand sixty miles seattle to st louis two thousand three hundred thirty two miles washington to new york two hundred twenty eight miles washington to chicago seven hundred ninety miles washington to philadelphia one hundred thirty seven miles washington to st louis eight hundred ninety four miles atlanta to boston one thousand one hundred six miles atlanta to baltimore six hundred eighty eight miles atlanta to cleveland seven hundred thirty six miles atlanta to buffalo nine hundred nineteen miles baltimore to boston four hundred eighteen miles baltimore to cleveland four hundred seventy four miles baltimore to buffalo three hundred ninety eight miles boston to baltimore four hundred eighteen miles boston to cleveland six hundred eighty two miles boston to buffalo four hundred ninety nine miles buffalo to boston four hundred ninety nine miles buffalo to baltimore three hundred ninety eight miles buffalo to cleveland one hundred eighty three miles chicago to boston one thousand thirty four miles chicago to baltimore eight hundred two miles chicago to cleveland three hundred fifty seven miles chicago to buffalo five hundred twenty five miles cincinnati to boston nine hundred twenty six miles cincinnati to baltimore eight hundred two miles chicago to cleveland three hundred fifty seven miles chicago to buffalo five hundred twenty five miles cincinnati to boston nine hundred twenty six miles cincinnati to baltimore five hundred ninety three miles cincinnati to cleveland two hundred forty four miles cincinnati to buffalo four hundred twenty seven miles cleveland to boston six hundred eighty two miles cleveland to baltimore four hundred seventy four miles cleveland to buffalo 
one hundred eighty three miles denver to boston two thousand fifty six miles denver to baltimore one thousand eight hundred fifty miles denver to cleveland one thousand three hundred seventy nine miles denver to buffalo one thousand five hundred thirty seven miles detroit to boston seven hundred fifty miles detroit to baltimore six hundred forty nine miles detroit to cleveland one hundred seventy three miles detroit to buffalo two hundred fifty one miles galveston to boston two thousand twelve miles galveston to baltimore one thousand five hundred ninety four miles galveston to cleveland one thousand four hundred eight miles galveston to buffalo one thousand five hundred ninety one miles indianapolis to boston nine hundred sixty five miles indianapolis to baltimore seven hundred four miles indianapolis to cleveland two hundred eighty three miles indianapolis to buffalo four hundred sixty six miles jacksonville florida to boston one thousand two hundred thirteen miles jacksonville to baltimore seven hundred ninety five miles jacksonville to cleveland one thousand eighty five miles jacksonville to buffalo one thousand one hundred ninety three miles kansas city to boston one thousand four hundred sixty six miles kansas city to baltimore one thousand two hundred eleven miles kansas city to cleveland seven hundred fifty five miles kansas city to buffalo nine hundred sixty seven miles los angeles to boston three thousand two hundred seventy three miles los angeles to baltimore three thousand eighteen miles los angeles to cleveland two thousand five hundred sixty two miles los angeles to buffalo two thousand seven hundred seventy four miles louisville to boston one thousand forty miles louisville to baltimore seven hundred three miles louisville to cleveland three hundred fifty eight miles louisville to buffalo five hundred forty one miles memphis to boston one thousand three hundred eighty seven miles memphis to baltimore nine hundred sixty nine miles memphis to cleveland seven hundred thirty eight miles memphis to buffalo nine hundred twenty one miles milwaukee to boston one thousand one hundred nineteen miles milwaukee to baltimore eight hundred eighty seven miles milwaukee to cleveland four hundred forty two miles milwaukee to buffalo six hundred ten miles minneapolis to boston one thousand four hundred fifty four miles minneapolis to baltimore one thousand two hundred twenty two miles minneapolis to cleveland seven hundred seventy seven miles minneapolis to buffalo nine hundred forty five miles montreal to boston three hundred thirty miles montreal to baltimore five hundred seventy four miles montreal to cleveland six hundred twenty three miles montreal to buffalo four hundred thirty four miles new orleans to boston one thousand six hundred two miles new orleans to baltimore one thousand one hundred eighty four miles new orleans to cleveland one thousand seventy three miles new orleans to buffalo one thousand two hundred fifty six miles new york to boston two hundred seventeen miles new york to baltimore one hundred eighty eight miles new york to cleveland five hundred eighty four miles new york to buffalo four hundred forty two miles omaha to boston one thousand five hundred twenty seven miles omaha to baltimore one thousand two hundred ninety five miles omaha to cleveland one thousand seven hundred fifty miles omaha to buffalo one thousand eighteen miles philadelphia to boston three hundred twenty one miles philadelphia to baltimore ninety seven miles philadelphia to cleveland four hundred ninety three miles philadelphia to buffalo four hundred sixteen miles pittsburgh to boston six hundred seventy four miles pittsburgh to baltimore three hundred thirty four miles pittsburgh to cleveland one hundred thirty five miles pittsburgh to buffalo two hundred seventy miles portland oregon to boston three thousand three hundred twenty six miles portland to baltimore three thousand ninety four miles portland to cleveland two thousand six hundred forty nine miles portland to buffalo two thousand eight hundred seventeen miles quebec to boston four hundred two miles quebec to baltimore seven hundred eighteen miles quebec to cleveland seven hundred ninety five miles quebec to buffalo six hundred twelve miles st louis to boston one thousand two hundred thirty miles st louis to baltimore nine hundred thirty four miles 
st louis to cleveland five hundred forty eight miles st louis to buffalo seven hundred thirty one miles san francisco to boston three thousand three hundred eight miles san francisco to baltimore two thousand seventy six miles san francisco to cleveland two thousand six hundred thirty one miles san francisco to buffalo two thousand seven hundred ninety nine miles seattle to boston three thousand two hundred seventy three miles seattle to baltimore two thousand nine hundred forty one miles seattle to cleveland two thousand five hundred ninety six miles seattle to buffalo two thousand seven hundred sixty four miles washington to boston four hundred fifty eight miles washington to baltimore forty miles washington to cleveland four hundred thirty seven miles washington to buffalo four hundred thirty eight miles atlanta to san francisco two thousand eight hundred five miles atlanta to pittsburgh eight hundred five miles atlanta to cincinnati four hundred ninety two miles atlanta to milwaukee eight hundred eighteen miles baltimore to san francisco three thousand seventy six miles baltimore to pittsburgh three hundred thirty four miles baltimore to cincinnati five hundred ninety three miles baltimore to milwaukee eight hundred eighty seven miles boston to san francisco three thousand three hundred eight miles boston to pittsburgh six hundred seventy four miles boston to cincinnati nine hundred twenty six miles boston to milwaukee one thousand one hundred nineteen miles buffalo to san francisco two thousand seven hundred ninety nine miles buffalo to pittsburgh two hundred seventy miles buffalo to cincinnati four hundred twenty seven miles buffalo to milwaukee six hundred ten miles chicago to san francisco two thousand two hundred seventy four miles chicago to pittsburgh four hundred sixty eight miles chicago to cincinnati two hundred ninety eight miles chicago to milwaukee eighty five miles cincinnati to san francisco two thousand five hundred seventy two miles cincinnati to pittsburgh three hundred thirteen miles cincinnati to milwaukee three hundred eighty three miles cleveland to san francisco two thousand six hundred thirty one miles cleveland to pittsburgh one hundred thirty five miles cleveland to cincinnati two hundred forty four miles cleveland to milwaukee four hundred forty two miles denver to san francisco one thousand three hundred seventy one miles denver to pittsburgh one thousand four hundred ninety miles denver to cincinnati one thousand two hundred fifty seven miles denver to milwaukee one thousand one hundred seven miles detroit to san francisco two thousand five hundred forty six miles detroit to pittsburgh three hundred twenty one miles detroit to cincinnati two hundred sixty three miles detroit to milwaukee three hundred fifty seven miles galveston to san francisco two thousand one hundred fifty seven miles galveston to pittsburgh one thousand four hundred eighty one miles galveston to cincinnati one thousand one hundred fifty seven miles galveston to milwaukee one thousand two hundred twenty nine miles indianapolis to san francisco two thousand four hundred fifty seven miles indianapolis to pittsburgh three hundred eighty one miles indianapolis to cincinnati one hundred eleven miles indianapolis to milwaukee two hundred sixty eight miles jacksonville florida to san francisco three thousand ninety eight miles jacksonville to pittsburgh one thousand fifty seven miles jacksonville to cincinnati eight hundred forty one miles jacksonville to milwaukee one thousand one hundred eighty two miles kansas city to san francisco one thousand nine hundred eighty one miles kansas city to pittsburgh eight hundred ninety eight miles kansas city to cincinnati six hundred eighteen miles kansas city to milwaukee five hundred forty three miles los angeles to san francisco four hundred seventy five miles los angeles to pittsburgh two thousand seven hundred five miles los angeles to cincinnati two thousand four hundred twenty five miles los angeles to milwaukee two thousand three hundred fifty miles louisville to san francisco two thousand four hundred sixty eight miles louisville to pittsburgh four hundred twenty seven miles louisville to cincinnati one hundred fourteen miles louisville to milwaukee three hundred eighty nine miles memphis to san francisco two thousand four hundred thirty nine miles memphis 
to pittsburgh eight hundred seven miles memphis to cincinnati four hundred ninety four miles memphis to milwaukee six hundred twelve miles milwaukee to san francisco two thousand three hundred fifty nine miles milwaukee to pittsburgh five hundred fifty three miles milwaukee to cincinnati three hundred eighty three miles minneapolis to san francisco two thousand ninety six miles minneapolis to pittsburgh eight hundred eighty eight miles minneapolis to cincinnati seven hundred eighteen miles minneapolis to milwaukee three hundred thirty five miles montreal to san francisco three thousand one hundred fifteen miles montreal to pittsburgh seven hundred four miles montreal to cincinnati eight hundred twenty six miles montreal to milwaukee nine hundred twenty six miles new orleans to san francisco two thousand four hundred eighty two miles new orleans to pittsburgh one thousand one hundred forty two miles new orleans to cincinnati eight hundred twenty nine miles new orleans to milwaukee nine hundred ninety seven miles new york to san francisco three thousand one hundred eighty six miles new york to pittsburgh four hundred forty four miles new york to cincinnati seven hundred fifty seven miles new york to milwaukee nine hundred ninety seven miles omaha to san francisco one thousand seven hundred eighty one miles omaha to pittsburgh nine hundred sixty one miles omaha to cincinnati seven hundred ninety one miles omaha to milwaukee five hundred seventy eight miles philadelphia to san francisco three thousand ninety five miles philadelphia to pittsburgh three hundred fifty three miles philadelphia to cincinnati six hundred sixty six miles philadelphia to milwaukee nine hundred six miles pittsburgh to san francisco two thousand seven hundred forty two miles pittsburgh to cincinnati three hundred thirteen miles pittsburgh to milwaukee five hundred fifty three miles portland oregon to san francisco seven hundred seventy two miles portland to pittsburgh two thousand seven hundred sixty miles portland to cincinnati two thousand five hundred ninety miles portland to milwaukee two thousand three hundred seventy eight miles quebec to san francisco three thousand two hundred eighty seven miles quebec to pittsburgh eight hundred seventy six miles quebec to cincinnati one thousand thirty nine miles quebec to milwaukee one thousand ninety eight miles st louis to san francisco two thousand one hundred ninety four miles st louis to pittsburgh six hundred twenty one miles st louis to cincinnati three hundred forty one miles st louis to milwaukee three hundred sixty nine miles san francisco to pittsburgh two thousand seven hundred forty two miles san francisco to cincinnati two thousand five hundred seventy two miles san francisco to milwaukee two thousand three hundred fifty nine miles seattle to san francisco nine hundred fifty seven miles seattle to pittsburgh two thousand seven hundred seven miles seattle to cincinnati two thousand five hundred thirty seven miles seattle to milwaukee two thousand one hundred fifty four miles washington to san francisco three thousand sixty four miles washington to pittsburgh three hundred two miles washington to cincinnati five hundred fifty three miles washington to milwaukee eight hundred seventy five miles atlanta to new orleans four hundred ninety six miles atlanta to washington six hundred forty eight miles atlanta to minneapolis one thousand one hundred fifty three miles baltimore to new orleans one thousand one hundred eighty four miles baltimore to washington forty miles baltimore to minneapolis one thousand two hundred twenty two miles boston to new orleans one thousand six hundred two miles boston to washington four hundred fifty eight miles boston to minneapolis one thousand four hundred fifty four miles buffalo to new orleans one thousand two hundred fifty six miles buffalo to washington four hundred thirty eight miles buffalo to minneapolis nine hundred forty five miles chicago to new orleans nine hundred twelve miles chicago to washington seven hundred ninety miles chicago to minneapolis four hundred twenty miles cincinnati to new orleans eight hundred twenty nine miles cincinnati to washington five hundred fifty three miles cincinnati to minneapolis seven hundred eighteen miles cleveland to new orleans one thousand seventy three miles cleveland to washington four hundred thirty seven miles cleveland to minneapolis seven hundred seventy seven miles 
denver to new orleans one thousand three hundred forty seven miles denver to washington one thousand eight hundred ten miles denver to minneapolis eight hundred eighty four miles detroit to new orleans one thousand ninety two miles detroit to washington six hundred fifty five miles detroit to minneapolis six hundred ninety two miles galveston to new orleans four hundred ten miles galveston to washington one thousand five hundred fifty four miles galveston to minneapolis one thousand three hundred forty miles indianapolis to new orleans eight hundred eighty eight miles indianapolis to washington six hundred sixty four miles indianapolis to minneapolis six hundred three miles jacksonville florida to new orleans six hundred sixteen miles jacksonville to washington seven hundred fifty five miles jacksonville to minneapolis one thousand five hundred seventeen miles kansas city to new orleans eight hundred eighty miles kansas city to washington one thousand one hundred seventy one miles kansas city to minneapolis five hundred seventy three miles los angeles to new orleans two thousand seven miles los angeles to washington two thousand nine hundred seventy eight miles los angeles to minneapolis two thousand three hundred one miles louisville to new orleans seven hundred seventy eight miles louisville to washington six hundred sixty three miles louisville to minneapolis seven hundred twenty seven miles memphis to new orleans three hundred ninety six miles memphis to washington nine hundred twenty nine miles memphis to minneapolis eight hundred ninety seven miles milwaukee to new orleans nine hundred ninety seven miles milwaukee to washington eight hundred seventy five miles milwaukee to minneapolis three hundred thirty five miles minneapolis to new orleans one thousand two hundred eighty five miles minneapolis to washington one thousand two hundred ten miles montreal to new orleans one thousand six hundred fifty five miles montreal to washington six hundred fourteen miles montreal to minneapolis one thousand one hundred twenty five miles new orleans to washington one thousand one hundred forty four miles new orleans to minneapolis one thousand two hundred eighty five miles new york to new orleans one thousand three hundred seventy two miles new york to washington two hundred twenty eight miles new york to minneapolis one thousand three hundred thirty two miles omaha to new orleans one thousand eighty miles omaha to washington one thousand two hundred eighty three miles omaha to minneapolis three hundred eighty one miles philadelphia to new orleans one thousand two hundred eighty one miles philadelphia to washington one hundred thirty seven miles philadelphia to minneapolis one thousand two hundred forty one miles pittsburgh to new orleans one thousand one hundred forty two miles pittsburgh to washington three hundred two miles pittsburgh to minneapolis eight hundred eighty eight miles portland oregon to new orleans two thousand seven hundred forty six miles portland to washington three thousand eighty two miles portland to minneapolis two thousand forty two miles quebec to new orleans one thousand eight hundred twenty seven miles quebec to washington seven hundred eighty six miles quebec to minneapolis one thousand four hundred thirty three miles st louis to new orleans six hundred ninety nine miles st louis to washington eight hundred ninety four miles st louis to minneapolis five hundred eighty six miles san francisco to new orleans two thousand four hundred eighty two miles san francisco to washington three thousand sixty four miles san francisco to minneapolis two thousand ninety six miles seattle to new orleans two thousand nine hundred thirty one miles seattle to washington three thousand twenty nine miles seattle to minneapolis one thousand eight hundred eighteen miles washington to new orleans one thousand one hundred forty four miles washington to minneapolis one thousand two hundred ten miles end of section thirteen section fourteen of one thousand things worth knowing this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox dot org recording by betty b one thousand things worth knowing by nathaniel c fowler jr diving bells 
the diving bell is simply a covering made of metal which is securely fastened to a waterproof suit the diving bell itself being an enclosure for the head the diver dons his suit the neck of which has a collar in the form of a screw the diving bell is placed over his head and screwed on it is connected with a rubber pipe through which air is forced by an air pump the air escaping through a valve in the belt itself if properly constructed and manipulated one may remain under water for considerable time although he is likely to be uncomfortable until he becomes used to it it was invented about seventeen fifteen drama during nineteen twelve ninety seven new plays were presented thirty six were musical comedies thirty six of the plays were serious or sentimental thirteen were melodramas thirteen were comedies one was a pantomime two were tragedies and fourteen were farces drugs the safest and best rule to follow is never to take any drug without the advice of a physician drugs have their place and without drugs many diseases would be incurable but drugs taken promiscuously derange the system and give but temporary relief hundreds of thousands of people have contracted chronic ailments from drug taking headache powders cough mixtures sleeping potions and practically all of the advertised remedies should be strenuously avoided notwithstanding that some of them are pure and would be efficacious if administered intelligently because one particular drug or medicine benefits a certain person should not be considered as evidence that it will aid another the habit of borrowing prescriptions is dangerous the intelligent physician writes a prescription which will benefit his patient and the same prescription would be of no benefit and might be of positive injury to another many of the testimonials given to patent medicines are genuine and are written by honest persons the effect of many of the advertised nostrums is to give immediate or transient relief they stimulate the system and may make it feel better for a short time but reaction is likely to set in and the taker of them is worse off than he was in the first place dying sayings real or traditional addison see how a christian dies or see in what a peace a christian can die anaxagoras give the boys a holiday byron i must sleep now caesar julius et tu brute charlemagne lord into thy hands i commend my spirit charles the second of england don't let poor nelly starve chesterfield give de rolls a chair cromwell my desire is to make what haste i may to be gone franklin a dying man can do nothing easy goethe more light hobbes now i am about to take my last voyage a great leap in the dark james v of scotland it came with a lass and will go with a lass jesus christ it is finished knox now it is come mahomet o oh, allah be it so henceforth among the glorious host of paradise mirabeau let me die to the sounds of delicious music napoleon the first mon dieu la nation francaise fête d'armée napoleon the third were you at sedan nelson i thank god i have done my duty rabelais let down the curtain the farce is over scott sir walter god bless you all sydney algernon i know that my redeemer liveth i die for the good old cause socrates crito we owe a cock to esculapius talma the worst is i cannot see tasso lord into thy hands i commend my spirit vespasian a king should die standing william the third of england can this last long wolf general what do they run already then i die happy brewers readers handbook dynamite this is one of the strongest explosives and is used for blasting and even for guns although it has not as yet been successful for the firing of projectiles it consists of infusorial and porcelain earth mixed with coal dust and siliceous ashes saturated with about three times its weight of nitroglycerin it is of a grayish brown or reddish color damp and greasy it has an explosive power nearly eight times greater than that of gunpowder it is dangerous to make because the nitroglycerin which it contains 
will explode if not handled carefully. End of section 14